from the CBS Broadcast Center in Philadelphia. This is CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 11. I really, uh, really hope and pray for the kids. Right now on Eyewitness News, a dangerous stunt in Thailand saves four trapped children. The boys have been stuck in a flooded cave for weeks now, and it's still a race against time to rescue the rest of the group. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Thank you so much for joining us. Officials say it could take up to four days to complete this mission and get all 12 boys and their coach out. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live in our SAT Center tonight. He's got the very latest for us. Joe. Natasha, good evening. The rescue effort being watched around the world was suspended once the sun went down. Thai officials say their search has now resumed. We can actually take a live look outside the hospital where four of those boys were taken. Monsoon flooding blocked off their escape and prevented rescuers from finding them for almost 10 days. Day two of a complicated, treacherous rescue mission continues in efforts to free a youth soccer team trapped in a flooded mountain cave. Divers on Sunday escorted four of the 12 boys back to the surface, a two and a half mile journey through a series of dark, flooded tunnels. You can't make a horror movie that would even compare. And I've been involved in cave rescue for 30 years, and I cannot uh, even think of one that was this complicated. After the four emerged from the cave, they were rushed to the hospital in ambulances. Officials in charge of the operation said they're hoping to bring another group of boys out by Monday or Tuesday. The good news is, is that the first phase was successful. They've had an opportunity to show it works. It's still dangerous, but it's much better off for the remaining kids to come out now because of those initial ones. Before attempting another rescue, dive teams have to refill their tanks and replenish supplies along the route inside the cave. And the president this morning tweeted, and I quote, the U.S. is working very closely with the government of Thailand to help get all of the children out of the cave and to safety. Very brave and talented people. Again, the president tweeting. Two divers are assigned to each boy, helping them carefully navigate out of that treacherous cave. That is the latest reporting live in the SAT Center. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you very much for that update tonight. 